Hello my dear students welcome back So in the last video we have that is video number 1 of chapter 7 we have discussed about different types of government which governs in India and we have studied about central government state government then after that we have discussed about different parts of the of the central government like lok sabha rajya sabha then we have studied about how prime ministers and council of ministers work right and in this video video 2 that is governing the nation we will discuss the exercise of this chapter so let's get started so first we have the fill in the blanks okay let's go through it the parliament is divided into two houses the lok sabha which is the lower house and the rajya sabha which is the council of states okay the the main branches the three main branches of government are parliament executive and judiciary every 5 years elections are held to the lok sabha these are called general elections the division of the country that elects the representative to the parliament is called constituency the supreme court in india is headed by chief justice it is headed by chief justice and the last one is the prime minister and the council of ministers take all the important decisions of the government so these are the six fill in the blanks which you have to do in your copy with the help of pen and please i request you all my dear students in copy you can use pen but when you mark any answer in the book or write anything any answer in the book please do not use pen uh, do not use pen only use pencil for the copies you can use pen and in the book please use only pencil okay now let's see the true and false the first one is president is the real head of the government that is false okay prime minister is the real head of the government then the the branch of the government that makes the law of the country is called judiciary that is false okay the branch of the government that executes or puts into force the laws made is called the executive it is true the branch of the government that protects the laws of the country is the parliament that is correct, that is false the law making body of the country is the legislature that is correct so these are the five true and false which you have to do in your copy so fill in the blanks true and false and now we will discuss question answers you have to do in your copy with the help of pen so now let's get get started with the question answers what are the three levels of the government in india that is local level state level and the national level are the three levels of government in india everything my dear students are given is given in the book i have seen many students those who message me and say sir i am not able to see that answer i am not able to understand that answer i am not able to see in the video that answer beta i have written all these answers from the book itself from the chapter so you should know the chapter completely and nicely and you can open your book open the chapter and find the answer by yourself because now you are in class 5 so you should know the answers even then also if you are not able to find the answer properly then you can tell me sir i am not able to get the answer from the chapter then i'll help you out okay so please i, I request you all to use your brain now okay to find the answers also okay then the third sec uh, let's go to question number 2 what are the three branches of union government what are the functions of each the, the three branches of union government are legislatures function is makes the law of the country the second is the executive it executes into the force the law made by the legislature and the third one is judiciary it protects the law of the country okay now question number 3 how are the members of the lok sabha elected the members of the lok sabha are elected are directly elected by the people we have studied in the chapter they are elected for a period of 5 years okay now question number 4 what is the role of the executive in the running the government 
The executive is responsible for maintaining orders in the country, taking care of the welfare of the people and ensuring proper relations with other countries. Okay, so these are the roles of running the government. And how, question number five, how is the president elected? The president is elected by the members of Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha and the state's legislature assemblies for the period of five years. So my dear students, everything is given from in the chapter. You just need to understand, you have to look through and you can mark your own answers also. The question number six, what is the council of ministers? The council of ministers is a body that actually runs the country. It, it takes all the important decisions and ensure the smooth running of the country. That is the role of the council of ministers. The question number seven, which is the highest court in India? We have studied in the chapter before. That is the Supreme Court is the highest court in India. The question number eight is describe the structure of the state government. So I have mentioned the structure, the structure of the state government. This and uh, my dear students, please, when you make this structure in your copy, kindly use pencil. Okay, I don't want anybody using pen by to, to draw this flowchart. Please, only for question number eight, answer number eight, you have to use pencil to draw this flowchart. Is that clear? Please remember that. I don't want I don't don't want to see any copy with using pen for this flowchart. Okay, so I hope I am clear. So please use pencil pencil to draw this flowchart. So the flowchart says the state government below state government legislature executive and judiciary with below uh, legislature Vidhan Sabha and Vidhan Parishad then below executive the government the governor or chief minister and the council of ministers. And the last is judiciary, that is the high court. Okay, so this is the structure of the state government. So my dear students, we have ended chapter number seven now. Okay, and I request you all to go through the chapters nicely. And please, again I am saying, if before messaging me, sir, I am not able to uh, get the answer and all just go through the chapter once again okay try to try try to find you find the answer by yourself okay now you are not in class fourth anymore you are in class fifth you are the grown-up students you have your big brains so please try to use it and then also if you're not able to understand or you're not able to find the answer properly i'm there to help you out okay so don't worry so thank you very much for your time and I have mentioned one new thing that is the quote of the day. The quote of the day says the two most powerful warriors are patience and time. So this is the quote of the day or you can say the quote of the video or the chapter. The two most powerful warriors are patience and time. So remember, always remember that in your life. Okay. So my dear students. Stay at home, stay safe. My contact number is given below. And please take care of yourself. Please take care of your parents and study hard. God bless you all. Thank you.